Hi friends, my name is Mara Vial and in this video I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to foil our prints. This is a simple to follow step-by-step -step tutorial where I'm going to show you how to add beautiful shine and turn your average prints into beautiful shiny home decor. And I'm going to show you how you can have access to the Dream Big printable that I'm going to be using in the video. And I'm going to show you how you can have access to it for free. So let's go ahead and get started. To create these foil art prints, the first thing we're going to need is, of course, the print. Also, um, you're going to need a reacted foil, which I'm going to be using this gold foil from Haiti Swap. And I'm going to be putting links to everything down below and also the link to my blog post so you can have all the step-by-step -step process. I'm also going to be using the Mink machine by Haiti Swap, and you're going to need some scissors and this machine came with this right here which is, which is a transfer folder. So this is what we're going to be using and let's go ahead and get started. You can use any printable that you want, just make sure that you print it on a um, laser printer because the toner when the toner reacts to the heat and the foil sheets that's what's going to create the foiling effect so it's very important that you print it on a laser printer and i'm going to be using this dream big printable that i created you can download it for free at my blog and i'm going to put the link to it down below so once you're going to the blog at bialdesigns.com forward slash how to follow tutorial, you are going to scroll down a little bit and then you're going to find the sign up form that you're going to fill out to get my dream big printable. So you just put your first name and your best email address to get access to it and hit yes I want the printable. It is going to be emailed to you within a couple of minutes. If you haven't received it in your inbox make sure you check your spam folder or your promotions tab because it should be there. If you already have access to my resource library you can go ahead and head straight there. Put the password and the dream big is going to be under my free inspirational prints. So you can go ahead and download it and print it. Once you have your print and you make sure that it was printed on a laser printer, step two is to get your mink machine ready. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on our mink machine. And then, hold on. Well, I like the first thing you want to make sure you do is connect your machine to the power. So I'll be right back. Don't be like me and actually make sure that your machine is plugged. And you can turn it on and then I'm gonna put it in the number three setting just because I'm using a car stock and the car stock is 60 pounds so the this machine comes with a little booklet that it gives you the setting that you should be using depending on the thickness of your paper step three is to cut the foil transfer sheet to the size of your design so while that is warming up, we're going to go ahead and cut the reactive foil and you want to make sure that you cut it and that it covers all your design. So once the machine started beeping and it turns green, that means that it's ready for you. So I'm going to go ahead and use my scissors and cut the foil. You can use also an X-Acto knife and a cutting mat so you have like a more precise cut doesn't really matter too much. I usually do the exacto knife just because like I say it's, the cuts are cleaner. You can always save these scraps and use them on other smaller prints. So as you can see here my reactive foil is covering the print completely. So that's what you want to make sure. So another thing you want to make sure is that if there is anything on the print that you don't want to foil you need to put a scrap piece of paper on it because if you don't do this then the toner is gonna pass onto your transfer folder and it's gonna damage it. I damaged a couple of these transfer folders because I didn't do that before so make sure that you cover use a scrap piece of paper and you cover anything that you don't want the, um, the foil to be on. So once you have your print completely covered with the foil, you're gonna put the print and the foil on your transfer folder and then you're gonna feed it through the machine. 
So now this process takes like about a minute. Don't rush it. Don't try to pull it up or make it faster. Just relax and make sure you let the machine do its magic. So once the transfer folder comes out of your meat machine, you can take it out and peel the foil. So first I'm going to show you here. I took this out and as you can see here, it kind of like a stuck to the scrap piece of paper. You can go to my blog post and see how I damaged one of my transfer folders because I didn't cover with that scrap piece of paper. Now it's time to peel this away. This is like, it's my favorite part. You see the shine? It's amazing. Like the only bad thing about uh, the foil is that it's so hard to photograph, but in video, it just looks so good. And in person, it looks amazing as well. Now you are ready to cut this one to size and this is going to fit an 8x10 frame. And this makes a great home decor and this is great for presents. This is really a beautiful print that you can gift and you can try the same technique with literally every print you have. And here's a print that I foiled for my wedding anniversary using the V from my Frodo alphabet. If you want to learn how to create Frodo letters like this, make sure you check my previous video where I showed the process I followed to create each Frodo letter. You can also see the whole Frodo alphabet on my Instagram account at VL Designs. And I'm going to be adding these foil prints to my shop so you have the option of creating your own or consider getting one from me. And there you have it, that's how you add foil to your art prints. And really you can use this technique to add foil to pretty much any type of print or card that you're going to make. And I know that the mink machine can be a little bit expensive and it's not available everywhere. So in my next video, I'm gonna show you how you can create the same technique using a regular laminator. And even if you don't have a laminator, foiling is still possible and I'm gonna show you how. So stay tuned for my next video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And I'm gonna be answering all your questions in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time.